So to calculate the future value, FV for future value equal to present value multiplied by 1 plus the R raised to the n power. Now this equation is applicable for the calculation of future value given that R is constant, all right? If R is not constant, then this is not a good uh, method for calculating the future value, all right? And you can rearrange it to find the future, uh, to calculate the present value, all right? So in this case, will be present value over future value divided into one plus R raise it to the n power. Once again, this R has to be constant. If it's 4%, it has to be 4%, you know, according to the number of years here or number of periods here, all right? This fraction, uh, this, uh, this method can also, so this is a fraction uh, method. You can also do multiplication for the present value. So in terms of multiplication, you have to do future value multiplied by one plus R raise it to the minus n power, all right? So, so this uh, present value here, these two methods here will give identical uh, calculation for the present value. So if you, if you notice here, this method is for fraction and this method is for multiplication. So the only difference is that you raise to the minus n power, all right? And if you want to calculate R, we can rearrange this equation to find R, all right? So R equal to future value over present value, raise it to the one over n power minus one, right? So here's the equation to find R, okay? You can also rearrange this equation to find n, okay? From here, so uh, let me write here. So n equal to, right? So this one to take the natural log, right? So natural log of present value, of future value over present value, right? Over the natural log of one plus the rate, all right? So this is how you would re rearrange this equation to find n, all right? So the, uh, to cap to cap of this uh, calculation here, so this method is for the future value, this method is for the present value, and um, there are two different methods here. One is fractions, one is multi multiplication, all right? And you can rearrange this equation to find r, you can also rearrange this equation to find the number of periods or number of years, all right? The, the natural log of future value over present value divided into the natural log of one plus r, all right? Hope you all have a wonderful day now. Take care.